Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do a chit chat, get ready with me. I will be testing out some new products, including the new, the new, the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and the Amrezy Highlighter, which I'm wearing on my face right now. And it is literally everything. Like I'm so excited to be using it in a video because I've been using it off camera and I was like, okay, I need to do a video with it because everyone needs this highlighter in their life. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. To start off, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin. I'm using this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. And I'm just going to apply just a tiny bit on the center of my face. I have been using this for about two weeks now and I really like it. By the way, do you guys notice how clear my skin is getting? I'm like so grateful to the universe, to the Lord Jesus Christ because you guys know it's been quite a journey for me. When it comes to skin, I do have some hyperpigmentation and some acne scars, but I'm not really worried about that because I've been using this new product that has been helping with like fading my scars. So girl, I am like so flipping happy right now with my skin. Knock on wood. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark brown, and I'm just gonna fill in my brows. I finally got my brows done. You guys know that I'm always like letting my brows grow out. So I went to this new salon and I got them done, and the girl over freaking waxed. Of course, that would happen to me. I went to a new girl too. I was like, I had a feeling. I was like, just wait, just wait, just wait. And I'm like very impatient when it comes to like everything in life i honestly i am the worst at waiting i'm the worst at like making decisions i could have sworn i put my brow gel here but i didn't so let me go grab it just give me one second i'm so sorry i just realized the lighting was a little bit yellow so i cooled it down it should be fine now and true to color so i found my brow gel this is my benefit ready set brow gel and i've been loving this to set my brows what I like to do is basically just brush them up and it gives me like that natural looking brow kind of look, which I've been really into lately. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush them up. This is a really nice setting gel because it makes your brows stay in place for the rest of the day. I'm going to go ahead and prime my skin. Today I'm using my Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and I'm using the smoothing primer. I'm just going to focus this on the center of my face. So today I am actually going to an event um, for NARS and I'm really excited about that. I love working with NARS and I've never been to one of their events. So this would be my first one here in LA. I feel like I could never make it to the events that they've had here. I also have to go get my nails done, you guys. Like my feeling is out of this world. I never let it get this bad. I mean, on camera, it doesn't look that bad, but in person, you you will be like, girl, what? You need to get your nails done. So um, I need to find a place. I'm having the hardest time finding like a good location because the place that I go to is like in the valley and that's kind of far from where I live now. So um, I've been like on Yelp trying to find a good location. I'm just shaking up my foundation. Um, I like to give it a good shake before I put it on. By the way, I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup and I'm using the shade 3W2. It's so interesting to like go on Yelp and look at reviews for nail salons because people will put the craziest nail pics and you're just like, oh my God. And I just get creeped out so easily. So it's so hard for me to go to a nail salon. So yeah, that's my struggle right now, trying to find a good nail salon in um, my area to you know get my nails done before I leave for New York tomorrow morning. And um, that's all I have to do today. I also have to pack. I haven't packed anything. So I'm gonna try and get that done. Ooh, <laughs> way too much on my head. Um, way too much i will not be using all of this so if there's any place that you guys would recommend i check out for my nails let me know in the comments below or you can dm me on instagram or twitter and i will gladly appreciate it because i am having the hardest time i'm just using a damp sponge to just blend this into my skin so the event that i'm going to it's not until 6 30 and right now it's 11 42 a.m but I have other places to go before that. So I figured I would do like a nice, long lasting, soft makeup look. And this foundation never fails me. So that's why I will be using this one today. All right, I have so much left over. This is why every foundation needs to have a pump because look how much foundation I have left over. 
not good so you guys i started watching the office about two weeks ago and i binge watched it so i'm on season seven right now and i think i have two more seasons left and then i'm completely done with the show and i'm so sad because i don't want it to end i'm like so invested in it right now and i'm just like really loving it i know i'm probably like the last person in the world to watch the office after i finished the show jose said i should watch parks and recreation so i've never seen that one either so i might just start that one after that for concealer today i'm going in with this laura mercier flawless fusion ultra long wear concealer and i'm using the shade 2w you guys know how i feel about the ultra long wearing foundation by laura mercier it is one of my top five favorite foundations so when i saw they were coming out with a concealer to match the foundation i was like yes i was literally so excited when I unbox this on my vlog channel. So I've been using this for a few days now and I really like it. It has medium to full coverage. It has a really nice soft matte finish, but it blends so easily under the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this in a V shape under my eyes and blend that in with the Real Technique sponge. So to contour my face, I'm going in with this NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and I'm using it in Dark One Cafe. So I am going to dip in my brush and just apply this under the hollows of my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead and on my jawline. Mickey boy. I have to text Jose because we've been looking for my Gucci belt for two days. And we're like, it's not here. It's not anywhere in the house. And I was just like moving my PR boxes. And it was inside one of the PR boxes. Can you believe that? As always, I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye. I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And what I like to do is I basically dip in my sponge a tiny bit, only the tip. And then I'll apply it and then I'll place it right under my eyes. And then whatever is left over, I'll just like put on the rest of my face. I have been using this product so much lately and I really like it. So I wanted to use it in today's video. This is Take the Home Bronzer in the shade Tony by The Bomb Cosmetics. I really like the formula of this powder. It's such a beautiful warm bronzer and it looks so gorgeous on the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this wherever I applied my cream contour. For blush today, I'm going to be using this new palette by MAC and Jeremy Scott. This is the Cheeky Volume 1 mixtape, and it's in the form of a CD, which I think it's so cute. Do you guys remember what was your first CD, if you ever did buy a CD? I'm going to go ahead and apply this blush to the apples of my cheeks. So I want to do my eye makeup, and then we'll finish the rest of the face, even though the only thing that I'm missing is my highlighter. So on my eyes today, I'm going in with the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, and I have been using this every single day since I got this in the mail. It is such a gorgeous palette for like an everyday wear. I've been doing more neutral looks with it and that's what I want to do today because like I said, I want this to be like a soft glam makeup look. It literally what it's called. I'm going to go ahead and take Tempera and I'm going to apply this on the inner parts of my eyelids. I'm taking the same brush and I'm going to dip it into Rustic, which is a matte brown. And I'm going to apply this on the outer parts of my lids. For eyeliner today, I'm using my Little Black Liner by Estee Lauder. I'm going to be using the ultra fine side and I'm going to be drawing in a thick cat eye. I'm going to go ahead and take Noir and I'm going to build up the color on my outer lid. And I'm just placing that with this small pointy brush. And then I'm going to take a fluffier brush and then diffuse this into my crease. I'm only keeping this on the outer parts of my lid because I want you to be able to see that bright color on the inner parts of my lid. And I want this to be sort of like a smoky, diffuse, brownish, black, smoky eye. I'm going to take whatever is left over from Tempera, the color that I use on the inner parts of my lids, and I'm just going to lightly just brush it under my brow bone. I'm going to go ahead and take Fairy and just pop this right on the inner parts of my eyelids. I'm going to go ahead and take this matte dark brown shade and apply it just on the outer parts of my lower lash line, and that's just going to smoke out the look. It's also going to bring everything in together.
Now on my waterline, I'm going in with this Jouer Slim Creme Eyeliner in Matte Nude. This is my Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara, and I'm just going to apply this on my bottom lashes to finish off the eye look. So for highlighter today, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy Palette. <gasps> you got the formula of this highlighter is so unique and so different. It has a really interesting texture. When you put it on your skin, it kind of just melts in. Like, it's unbelievable, you guys. This formula is so bomb. If you don't have this highlighter, once you see me put it on my skin right now, you're going to be like, order right now because it is that amazing. Do you see that though? Do you see that highlight? It is so beautiful on the skin. It almost has sort of like that wet effect on the skin, but I didn't wet my brush at all whatsoever. It just, that's how it sits on the skin. I ended up changing my mind. I only want to do matte on my lips. So I am just going to take that same lipstick in Stark Naked and I'm going to apply this all over my lips. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love this neutral kind of like smoky glam makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will link everything that I used in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. And with that being said, I will see you all in the next one very soon. Bye. <laughs> and um... Mm. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? What is that? Oh! oh. Ah. I'm gonna be in big trouble. I'm having some technical difficulties trying to open this. Okay, there we go.